No, Mr. Vice President, if a member of your family came to you and said, look, I want to go on a commercial airliner to Mexico and back within the next week, would you think it's a good idea? I would tell members of my family, and I have, I wouldn't go anywhere in confined places now. It's not that it's going to Mexico. It's you're in a confined aircraft. When one person sneezes, it goes all the way through the aircraft. That's me. I, I would not be at this point, if, I, if they had another way of transportation, suggesting they ride the subway. Uh, and the, my other question has to do with remarks that Vice President Biden made this morning on television. Uh, representatives of the travel industry uh, have accused the Vice President of uh, coming close to fear-mongering uh, because of his comments. And I'm wondering if you wanted to clarify or correct or uh, apologize for the remarks that he well, made. Well, um, I think the, uh, what the Vice President meant to say was uh, the same thing that uh, again, many members have said in the last few days, and that is, if you feel sick, uh, if you ex are exhibiting symptoms, flu-like symptoms, coughing, sneezing, uh, runny nose, uh, that you should take precautions, that you should uh, limit your travel. Um, and I, I think he just, uh, uh, what he said and what he meant to say. sympathize with you trying to explain the vice president's comments, but that's not even remotely close to what he said. That's not even remotely close to what he said. He no, was no, asked I, about I if a member about I if a member of his family. Jake, I understand what he said. And I'm, I'm telling you what he meant to say, which was, was that uh, if uh, if somebody is experiencing symptoms, you heard the president say this last night. If somebody is.